light heavyweight champion of the world. I'm getting ready to fight Glover Teixeira. And whenever you got two lions like ourselves, two winners like ourselves going at it, who knows what's going to happen. It's going to be a great fight for the fans. Definitely, it's going to be the best fight of the year, you know? I'm going out there with a the mindset of domination. He's a great champion, and he's a great fighter. I can't think about that. I got to think, like, I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to finish this guy. He's taking it Glover Teixeira is a name that hardcore fans have been following for years. People have wanted him to be in the UFC. He was just knocking people out in his native Brazil, put together 20 consecutive wins, 16 first round finishes. But we didn't get the chance to see him in the UFC for the longest time because he was battling with visa issues. It was a hard time, man, because I see the belt jumping like a tennis ball. Nobody would hold the belt for a long time, and uh, I just want to be in there. He was training, he was fighting, he was getting ready. Just waiting for his chance to get back in the U.S. And, and get a shot at it. Thank God I'm here now and I have the biggest opportunity in my life fighting for the world title. Ever since he's gotten to the UFC, he really has shown that he belongs here. Glover Teixeira, Teixeira has one punch knockout power. I think that's his biggest threat. You know, he's finished most of his fights by knockout. This guy is a real threat to John Jones. He is the modern day Chuck Liddell. He's one of those guys always trying to improve, always trying to get better. So each time you see him come out, you see a better Clover. Everything that has been done has been working. So when you win it that much, the confidence that this is going to happen in the next fight, it's going to happen the same way. He's got all the tools, and he's just one punch away. If Glover Teixeira connects with one of his bombs, it's over. I've been the UFC champion for three years now, and I've definitely fought pretty much the who's who's at the light heavyweight division. We've never seen a guy just knock off champion after champion after champion the way he did. He's made it look easy, and he did it to so many guys that you started to think, you know, he's not human, that he's gonna go into these fights and just walk through everybody. To already have the most defenses of the USC light heavyweight title in history, passing guys like Hall of Famers in Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. I think John Jones is the new standard for what it takes to be an elite fighter in mixed martial arts. And John Jones did kind of usher in this next generation of light heavyweights. There is a new wave of hungry contenders that are coming up, and I'm really excited about it. It's going to keep me working hard, just keep me on top of my game. John Jones' last fight was one of the best fights of all time. I mean, very rarely do you see a fight that everybody calls the fight of the year, and his fight with Alexander Gustafsson was exactly that. Gustafsson definitely lit a fire under my butt that I needed, and uh, I feel as if I'm better than ever because of it. Unbelievable! Alexander Gustafsson really came with his A game. He had an opportunity of a lifetime, and he sees the moment. I see my own blood for the first time in the fight, and I was being taken down for the first time in my career. I think that was just like, oh my word, am I dreaming? This this fight is like a nightmare. It looks like Alexander Gustafsson is ready to take the belt, and John Jones hits that spinning elbow in the fourth round. It really changes the entire momentum of the fight. That elbow, it, it saved the day. Wow! Throughout his entire career up to that point, he had really just dominated the competition, and people said, well, it's unfair. He's too big. He's too long. In this one, he got pushed to the absolute limit, and I think showed the world that he's capable of digging deep and finding something extra when he needs it. My heart knew that I wanted to remain the champion, and I found a way to win. I respect him dearly for giving me such a great challenge, forever making me a better athlete, better fighter. The power that Glover Teixeira brings to the cage is much, much greater than Alexander Gustafsson. If he is able to land some of those shots that Alexander was able to land, John Jones is going to be in a lot of trouble. I guarantee you, I'm not going to need to hit him that much. If I hit Jones with a good punch, he's going to go down, man. You know, I believe in that power. I've faced a lot of guys who are similar to Glover, but I'm pretty positive he hasn't faced anyone like me. He's got a lot of problems he's got to solve with John Jones, particularly that reach, because John can keep him back with the kicks and with the punches. And John's so unpredictable with the strikes. But when you hit as hard as Glover does, and when you have the submission game like Glover does, you're always going to be dangerous no matter where the fight is. Take the belt away from Jones, it means a little more. He's been holding the title for a while, and like, be the guy to take the title away from him would be like a bigger win, bigger reward. And, uh, I'm going to do that. This isn't the first time that I've heard a fighter say that beating me is more important to them than getting the belt. Uh, but for me, it's not about what their psychology is. Uh, I'm a pretty goal-oriented guy myself. And uh, 
Yeah, this belt's gonna remain with me for a long time. The Johnson Davis fight is a very important fight for both sides. If Phil Davis can beat Johnson, it's gonna move him much closer to the title shot. My job is to win. I'm ready to fight for the belt. Anthony Johnson, a win for him is very important. It puts him back on the map in UFC. It's my chance to show everybody that, you know, hey, me being on a six fight winning streak isn't a fluke. Johnson is on fire. So athletic and so explosive. That guy is a handful for anybody to deal with. Anthony Johnson gets to make his mark on a very top notch contender right away. Bill Davis, Mr. Wonderful. Phil Davis looks like a beast. This is a gifted athlete. The man is a Hulk at 205 pounds. Amazing wrestler, great submission artist. Oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's an intimidating physical presence. He really is the complete package. That is a confident mixed martial artist. He's coming off a big win over Lyoto Machida in Brazil. I think fighting that fight is a huge opportunity for me to showcase my skills again against the top guy in the world. Can he get the takedown? Yes. Phil Davis's fight with Leota Machida was an opportunity to prove against top-level competition that he belonged. I really was looking to redeem myself from my first loss against Rashad Evans. He engaged Leota Machida, and he mixed up his wrestling and his striking, and he won the fight. Phil Davis victorious tonight. I think Phil Davis certainly could be maybe one fight away from a championship fight, but it's gotta be a violent, aggressive victory. Biggest test of Mr. Wonderful's career. Phil Davis hasn't had that signature knockout yet like some of the other guys have had. Well, if Phil Davis wants to be in title contention after this fight, he needs to finish Anthony Johnson. Phil Davis knows this is time to shine, and he has all the tools necessary to get the job done. We haven't heard about Anthony Johnson in quite some time because he had to go outside of the UFC for a while. Anthony Johnson always had problems making weight. He's put on some serious bulk, you can see it. He missed weight three or four times in his career. I feel like I've been in every weight class possible. He was progressively getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Been at uh, 170. 176 for Anthony. Tried 185. 197. Now I fight at 205. There were several times along the way where it was evident that Anthony Johnson should not be fighting at 170 pounds, but he continued to insist he could do it. I was just stubborn. I was so immature. I hadn't grew as a person, as a fighter. I did it to myself. I, mean, I can't blame it on anybody but myself. I'm back now, so I'm glad to be where I'm supposed to be. Anthony Rumble Johnson! Since he settled down in the light heavyweight division, the guy looks better than ever. He remade himself. Since I left the UFC, I've had six fight win streak now. Anthony Johnson is known as Rumble, and that's what he does. Oh, what a head kick! Every time I swing, every time I punch, everything that I do is, is 100%. Anthony Johnson with the knockout! When you think Anthony Johnson, you think the power that he brings on the feet. When I fight, I actually do want to hurt the person as much as I can. If you want to make a splash in the UFC, and you just signed a new deal, there's no better way to do it than to come in and rock Phil Davis in your first fight back. He's a superior athlete. He's well-rounded, but I don't see him beating me in anything. I don't get discouraged no matter who the guy is. I'll stand and trade with anybody. I'm not worried about how good Phil can wrestle. This isn't a wrestling match. This is a fight. I'm looking to submit. I'm looking to finish the fight as soon as possible. I'm not afraid to fight anybody. I don't care who you are. I don't ever plan on losing. I know I'm going to be the best in the world, and that means beating everybody. I could be one of the greatest fighters to ever live. He's amazing. But John Jones' title may be in jeopardy. Glover Teixeira is a killer. Unbeaten now in 20 fights. Oh, he got no. He is a legit threat. Glover Teixeira. Oh! He's on such a different level. John Jones, that might be the greatest title fight in the history of the light heavyweight division. Wow.